to you from our GIS studios. I am Anisia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development in partnership with the Commonwealth of Learning, the William and Flora Ulett Foundation and UNESCO hosted a four-day workshop on building capacity for the use of open education resources in the classroom. The move will help to reduce on the cost of textbooks and material and the improvement in the capacity of teachers. OER has increasingly been recognized by the international community as an innovative tool for meeting the challenges of providing lifelong learning opportunities for learners from diverse levels and modes of education worldwide. With the help of UNESCO and the Commonwealth of Learning, the Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development is seeking to develop its policies surrounding the use of OER. The workshop was organized by the Commonwealth of Learning, which seeks to bring education and training to the all Commonwealth member states through the use of technology. A data gathering tool is seeking to help institutions who work with juveniles better manage their cases for more effective outcomes. TheraScribe is a mental health software and includes features such as appointment reminders, appointment scheduling, assessment and treatment plans, which gives all the relevant parties access to the same information. Recently, a refresher course was conducted for the use of the software. Director of the Upton Garden Girls Centre, Jacqueline Messiah Simeon, says TheraScribe is a critical part of the organization's collaboration with other agencies. Every year, the Prime Minister of St. Lucia hosts an independent ball in which the proceeds received are donated to several charities. Cabinet Secretary at the Office of the Prime Minister, Benson Emanuel, presented a cheque donation of $4,000 on behalf of the Prime Minister of St. Lucia to the St. Lucia Animal Protection Society SLAPS from the proceeds raised at the 2019 Independence Ball. The founder of SLAPS, Pamela DeVoe, expressed gratitude to the Prime Minister for the donations received. This year, the annual Prime Minister's Independence Ball will take place on the 22nd of February, 2020. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.